I was asked by a Chinese subscriber if I would do a video on the two cetaceans that live in the Chinese river Yangtze, the Yangtze finless porpoise, affectionately known as the river pig, and the beiji, which is a dolphin and now thought to be extinct. The Yangtze finless porpoise is considered by the IUCN to be critically endangered, as the most recent survey carried out in 2017 found only 1,012 individuals. In the 1950s, the population of the Baji was estimated to be about 6,000 individuals. Subsequent surveys revealed that their population was declining rapidly, and in spite of efforts to save them, a survey in 2006 found none. The IUCN has the Baji listed as critically endangered, possibly extinct. So why has this all happened? Well, predictably, it is due to human activities. The Yangtze is known as the Golden Channel of China. At 6,380 kilometres long, it is the longest river in China and the third longest in the world. The Yangtze River is fed by two large lakes, Poyang Lake, which is the largest in China, and Dongting Lake. The river starts in the Tibetan Plateau and flows to the East China Sea. It is home to one third of China's population and provides water, transport and food for these people and supplies more than 40% of the country's GDP. Since 1950, the drainage basin of the Yangtze River has seen vast economic development to the detriment of the environment. The river traffic has increased substantially, but particularly in the lower Yangtze, which has almost doubled every 10 years. Pollution levels have risen in the rivers and lakes. Silt loads in the water have increased in the middle and upper basin due to overgrazing and the overcutting of trees. Fishing has also increased and there have been a number of dams built the most notable of which is the Three Gorges Dam. Land reclamation, which has seen the drainage of lakes to create farmland, has reduced the surface area of the lakes and wetlands. The size of both lakes fluctuate according to the season, obviously having more water in the rainy season. In a normal year, the average area of Lake Poyang was 3,500 square kilometres. However, in early 2012, due to drought, sand quarrying, and the practice of storing water at the Three Gorges Dam, the area of the lake reached a low of about 200 square kilometres. All these human activities have impacted on the river and its inhabitants, and I will discuss the consequences that some of them have had on the Baji and the finless porpoise. Almost half of China's sewage and industrial discharge, nearly 35 billion tonnes each year, are released into the river. High levels of pollutants such as pesticides, mercury and other heavy metals have been recorded in the river. Pesticides and heavy metals are known to be detrimental to mammals, causing impairment of the immune system, central nervous system damage, and effects on the reproductive system such as developmental alterations of the fetus or even fetal death. Nutrient runoff from the fertilisers is also a problem, causing eutrophication and so affecting the whole food web. The huge number of boats and ships that use the river and the lakes means that propeller strikes often occur and have injured or even killed the cetaceans, and there is a concern that the noise produced by the boat traffic will disturb their acoustic communication and echolocation. The cetaceans get sensory overload and become exhausted, swimming back and forth to escape. Confused and tired, they become more vulnerable to propeller strikes. Overfishing is a huge problem. Many cetaceans have been killed due to electric fishing. It is indiscriminate, not only killing the fish wanted by the fishermen, but many other animals in its path, including the cetaceans and their prey. At times, the navigation channels in the river are deepened or widened, and underwater explosions are used to do this. Underwater explosions have also been used in fishing. Whatever the reason it has been used for, the explosions are known to have killed a number of cetaceans. Sand mining has also posed a problem for the cetaceans. The demand for sand to make concrete has increased globally, but particularly in Asia. The practice became so bad along the Yangtze River that in the year 2000, the Chinese authorities banned it along the lower and middle reaches of the river. Unfortunately, this led to the mining operators dredging sand from the Poyang Lake. This has had the effect of enlarging the lake's outflow channel. The lake now holds less water and even dries out during the dry season. The Baji used to live in this lake and the finless porpoise still does. There are numerous problems associated with this mining. In particular, it has degraded crucial spawning, feeding and rearing grounds for all aquatic organisms. The shrinking of the lake in the dry season means that the porpoises may congregate in the narrow channel. There is a lot of boat traffic here, 
so they are at more risk of collision with the mining ships and also fishing boats. And of course there is more noise from the vessels, which as mentioned earlier, affects the ability of the paupers to hunt using echolocation. Large bridges and the presence of sand transport vessels are having an impact on the porpoises' movement to and from the lakes into the main river. This could have serious implications for genetic diversity, something that is needed to sustain a healthy population, and this problem needs to be addressed. Climate change is also impacting on the porpoise population. In recent years, there's been a higher incidence of extreme weather events. There are reports that porpoises have injured themselves when breaking through the ice to create breathing holes. The subsequent infections of the wounds led to the death of six animals, including two pregnant females. The building of the Three Gorges Dam was probably what took the bhaji to extinction. The reservoir created from the construction of the dam covered a significant amount of the bhaji's habitat. Construction of the main wall was completed in 2016, creating a barrier across the river. The dam has caused a significant drop in the porpoises' prey, as the number of fish fry and eggs from the four main carp species declined by 95%. There have been huge environmental problems caused by this dam, which I won't go into here, but it has been on the news recently due to the heavy rains in China, and the controversy surrounding it continues. It is too late to save the bhaji, but is there anything that can be done to prevent the finless porpoise from becoming extinct? Well, as mentioned earlier, the most recent survey conducted in 2017 found 1,012 individuals, whilst in 2012 there were 1,040. Although there is still a decline, it is nowhere near the decline of 13% per year between 2006 and 2012. There has been a slight increase in the populations found in the two lakes, but a decrease in the number of individuals found in the main river. It gives hope that the strategies put in place to help these adorable creatures survive are working. These strategies include the government's decision to extend fishing bans, and there has also been a crackdown on illegal fishing and restrictions on sand mining. However, there is no room for complacency, and more needs to be done urgently. The World Wildlife Fund has been advocating that navigation routes are planned away from areas of high porpoise population, and that vessel speeds are reduced. Since 2011, the WWF have been working with the Three Gorges Dam's operating company to ensure that water is released from the dam at critical times of the year for the spawning of the four major species of carp, which are a food source for the finless porpoise. There is an initiative to further develop the Yangtze River into a high-grade waterway, which would involve channel expansion and deepening. The WWF are monitoring this development carefully and hope to influence policy with an aim of protecting the porpoises. As you can see, the WWF, along with many other NGOs, are involved in a lot of work to help conserve the porpoise, from influencing policy, habitat conservation, raising awareness of the issue both in China and abroad, and in helping to set up nature reserves. There are nature reserves within the main river, but also within the oxbow lakes that occur along the river. Although historically these oxbow lakes were home to the porpoises, there are none there today that have not been translocated there. These oxbow lakes have a lower threat in terms of sand dredging, water quality and ship movement. They can still be connected to the Yangtze River when water levels are high or by opening the sluice gates at the dike's confluence with the river. The aim of this translocation is to establish breeding populations. Although not ideal, a faced with the rapid decline of the porpoise, it was thought to be a good strategy. The first translocation of five porpoises occurred in 1990 to the Tianyi Oxbow Nature Reserve. Subsequently, captured or rescued porpoises were translocated to the Oxbow individually or in small groups every few years. Between 2012 and 2017, four porpoises were translocated from the Puyang Lake to boost genetic diversity within the population. To date, a total of 30 have been translocated to Tianyi Initially, the birth rate was 2 to 5 porpoises a year, but since 2015, it has been around 5 to 10 porpoises born every year. The last population survey was carried out in 2015, and there was found to be a population of 60. Some of the females were found to be pregnant, and some were suckling calves. This represents a net growth of 108%. The Oxbow can support 80 to 100 individuals, so nature reserves have been established in two other Oxbow lakes, 
and it is the hope that a further two will also be established. Whilst this is a great achievement, it was found from a health assessment, also carried out in 2015, that the porpoises were underweight. It is thought to be due to insufficient fish stocks within the oxbow. Over the years, since 2009, fish fry have been released into Thai and Yisau in order to boost fish stocks. In 2016, 2 million fish fry of around 5 to 8 centimetres long were sourced from the Yangtze River were released. The WWF has also been working with local farmers to reduce pollution that was causing eutrophication and so reducing the amount of vegetation which then had an effect on reducing fish stocks. Research has also shown that the sex ratio of porpoise calves born within Tianyu is unbalanced. For every seven males, only one female is born. The reason for this is unknown and requires more research. So in some respects, it is looking good for the finless porpoise and perhaps they will not become extinct as the bargy have. But until mankind stops its relentless development of these fragile habitats, we will keep on the path of firefighting the consequences and having to rely upon taking drastic actions such as translocations to prevent a species from becoming extinct.